We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel. They go for, fucking all out on the details, though. To the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. So you got to activate shit to get your radar now. Access. Just push the action button in front of the node. That looks green to me. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Like I said, they're going into the details of all the little mechanics and shit. Cannot fault it on that. Not climb up any of that though. No. What? What? Well, I didn't even do anything. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Oh. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. That's a clever but system, is that? Market you should do that in uh, real life. They be equipped with identification functionality. They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. This cat got us instantly I'm back to sleep. The same for the Navy SEALs here. Didn't you? Right. <laughs> How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. Like I said, we're going to drag them, try to get some goodies out of them, but... Don't matter how much I swing them around. Oh, okay, they will give me items then. Oh, I was right. Colonel's trying to throw me off. Swing them around a little bit. And... No item on that one. Oh well. We've got some funky um, operating system on this one. No, he just decides to... What the fuck was that? Let me just electrocute myself. What? Logging's successful? That's not how you log in. What's that about? What, what's this? What am I supposed to do? Name entry. I know some from the UK. Um. <laughs> That's got American date though. Confusing as fuck. First of the second, no. Second of the first. Turn blood display on or off? Yeah, that, that's 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 quite fine. The fuck was that? What kind? Of, what was going on? <laughs> I executed myself on the terminal. I had to put in my fucking details and shit. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. 
It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst <laughs> to work on the data too. It's so funny. It, it... Jack, is everything all right? Oh, wait a what sec. are you doing here? <laughs> Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar yeah, he's talking about field shit, incident. and he's only done VR. No, I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But... I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Is it for there? It's forgotten it's probably an anniversary or some shit. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Is that his like girlfriend or his wife or something like that? Seems like it. Considering the old trope of the dude forgetting the anniversary, yeah, it kind of adds up. But you're like, I was saying, hey, 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 what, 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 what? I was, I was just, I was just saying something. You just auto codec me. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Oh, oh, shit, oh, man, just, oh. No, man, I didn't even have me had on pad. Oh, for fuck! This ain't gonna work, is it? Where can I hide in here? That's a shit hiding place! Fuck it! We're in. Somehow that managed to work. Damn, I was just trying to say, like, it's funny in Metal Gear Solid where, like, they go really in-depth with the details and it makes it seem, like, really believable, like, some of the more, like, sci-fi stuff of Metal Gear Solid. Not too distant futurish and shit like that. And then they start banging on about, like, save features and the stuff like pushing the action button. Sons it's like, of what? Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. What? Poof, air eh, dash. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker. Oh, it's a future after now, cool. He blew it sky high. He didn't blow it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance.
What was with that air fucking flinging and shit at the beginning? Like, it was some mermaid that just come freshly out of the water and flings that air back or something like that. So what was that about? this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? I did find it funny how the colonel's just like, oh yeah, he ain't survived. Oh wait a sec, god. Yap, yap, yap. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Log in, Raiden. Not electrocute yourself. What was it? I can see, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the colonel fucking, like, oh, yeah, there's no way Snake survived that, blah, blah, blah. Like, well, when you wanted him to survive shit, he did it quite often, though. You know, tanker blows up, there's no way he survived. It's fucking, I'm sure he did. There's, like, f loads of games after this one. Even where he looks like a proper old man, so he must be all right. Plus, he was in the elevator a minute ago. Hey, wait, can I get in there? Nope. Alright, seagulls. Oh. Oh, as soon as I look at a seagull. Right, easy seagull. No, I just, I just wanted to look at you. That's all I asked. I didn't want to scare you. I'm sorry. I mean, is that a door there? It is. Oh, the seagull just shot right next to me. Sorry, it just appeared. Look at that. The seagull shit. A lot of it. Right next to me that appeared. Slept on seagull shit. Was well, never. I did. I, did. I slept again on seagull shit. What? It tried, to, it tried to take. What? Fuck! You look at it. I have a gun. Do I? No. No. You look it. Slipping on seagull shit. What the fuck? Wait a minute. No. Let, let's. I can't get in there, and I can't get in there. Wait a minute, is that a door? No. They, they keep shit. What? Oh. It's not that. It's, it's in game, it's like, seagull shit, broop. It's like, what? There's not an enemy here. I'm stuck in a very small area. What is this, like one of these room escape fucking games or something? Get in! It's getting dangerous with all this seagull shit everywhere. What? 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 You called me! According to the SEAL Team 10's communications, the president was sighted on Strut B. Raiden, head for Strut B. It's to the northwest of Strut A, your current location. Cross the connecting bridge between strut A and B. You can get to the connecting bridge from the first floor. Get down from the roof to the first floor. The node is on the first floor of strut A. Don't forget to log in. Understood? I didn't confirm my understood. Wee! I didn't... What? Is that, seriously, that... No, that can't, be, that can't be what you gotta do. No, I'm about to say that can't be what you gotta do. But now I know you can do that. I can't shimmy over there. No, back up again. Whee! That's quite cool, Raiden. Raiden. Oh! Fucking seagull shit right next to fucking where I wanted to go. Whee! Nah, it's not gonna let me do that. Where the fuck do I go? I am. Um, oh, so oh, how many times can you slip on bird shit in one area? Seriously, can I climb up that pipe? What's this enigma? I 
If it was fucking seagulls taunting me like that, we wish you could fly. Yeah. I don't know where I go. Do you want you to go back down there? What point of coming up here if you want you to go back down? This, look, this building. There's nothing to do. <sighs> Other than slip on shit. There's nothing to do there. Nothing. And then you go all the way around the perimeter. Look, there's no doors or anything here or anything like that. Look, that that's not that's not a door, is it? It kind of is. And then you, like, you run back to here, and then there's a fucking- ah. Oh. And you got this fucking building here you can't do note with. And then you've got a door over here that will open. Do I have any equipment to use? No. Got a sensor. That's not fucking- I need a sensor path. Sense of path to victory. Maybe if we get a high vantage point. And have a look around. Just seagulls. I don't... I think... What is this? Is there a way to jump from oh, fucking seagull shit right where I want to go again? Is is there a way to ride and seriously? No, you can't jump from place to place. Dude! You can't just drop off there like that. The fuck am I missing? No, no, let, let's fucking investigate. What the fuck am I missing? Because this should not be fucking difficult. It's like the first, well, second screen pretty much. Since I took control of Raiden. There must be something I'm missing. Such bullshit though. I'm missing. <coughs> Fuck off. No, I'm not answering your call. I refuse to. Yeah, fucking scattered around everywhere. This fucking note. What the fuck is this? How could I get so stuck so quick? <laughs> holding the fence. What holding the fence? Like that's one fence. No holes. That's this fence. No holes. And this is the back fence. No holes! So I don't know what that's about. Wait, wait can you push boxes? No. I can see no hole in no fence. I'm looking for fucking holes in fences now. I can't see. Right, that is def. There's, there's no hole in that right hand fucking fence. There is. There is no hole. Not there anywhere. Does my game have a, like a fully functional fence compared to everybody else's? Does this game? Oh, it's fucking. Offline combos and shit. <laughs> Fucking fences. It's fixed. 
It's fixed my fucking fence. That's what I think the problem is. I think I've got some, like... So, oh, oh, that hole! That's tiny! I could have easily missed that. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at this fence. Duh. Like, look, look, there's no at it and stuff like that. It's down there! Fuck off, I found the fence and I don't need you anymore. Oh my god. I could have been looking for that. What? Oh, it forced him me into a call. Fuck. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. I swear to God, like, my game was buggy there. Like, there was no hole in no fence until, like, it just appeared. That's where it was. Definitely. It was all buggy and it was actually a fully functional fence. And then it must have corrected itself. That hole was so small, though. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. I better keep my fucking eyes peeled in future, like, really fucking...